Hey guys, today I have a project to share with you inspired by the December mood board from Our Mixed Media Moods, which is pictured here. And Our Mixed Media Moods is, is a monthly collaboration between Didi Katrin and myself where we make mood boards and then projects based on that mood board. So this was my original project that I did for December. And I was inspired by these flowers that I did pictured here. And I decided to make a little mini project based on those flowers. So I'm taking little kind of like ATC sized pieces of cardboard and I'm going to take a charcoal pencil and some water and just kind of distress it in the same way um, I did in my big piece if you saw that video and if you didn't I will link it down below, below so you can check it out. Um, yeah so I'm just adding water and some marks and just kind of um, making it grungy. <laughs> so then once that's dry, I'm going to go in with a layer of gesso and the cardboard really soaks up the gesso and also um, the charcoal kind of tints it like a little bit of a gray color, which is fine by me because there's gray in the mood board anyway. So then once the gesso's dry, I have these used tea bags that I just opened up and dumped the tea out of. And I think they make really nice um, like collage elements because I love the coloring and I love the texture, like the tea bag so thin. So I'm just going to add a couple of those to my pieces here using some of the collage podge mat. And this last one, I only had like a little extra, um, or I had some little extra pieces. So instead of a whole one, I just added that one. And um, a little bit of it hangs over um, like the edge, but that's fine with me. Um, the whole the whole thing is like really grungy and messed up looking. So it doesn't matter to me that it's not perfect. And then I'm going to add a little bit of masking tape. I'm just going to take the tape and kind of rip it so it doesn't have like those two straight harsh harsh edges um, one edge is fine with me but um, then in the last one I just added a couple pieces there on top of each other and then I'm gonna go over those all those layers with another layer of gesso <laughs> and this is the Dina Wakely media gesso And once that's dry, I'm going to take this Donna Downey Studios um, flower stencil and some Blick gesso. Now this isn't heavy gesso, but it is quite a bit heavier than like the Dina Wakely gesso or the Liquitex. So um, it does have the properties of like a heavy gesso, which is why I'm using it. So I'm just going to use my finger to go through the stencil. Um, because I like the texture that it creates when you use your finger and also I was too lazy to find a makeup sponge to use. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just um, using three different blooms there so that each of my little pieces look different. And then I'm also going to take this stencil away and kind of use my finger to like add my own lines in there to make it and then I'm also going to add some stems um, using the stencil but yeah I'm going to use my finger to kind of like make my own lines and kind of change the shape a little bit of um, some of the blooms just to fill it in a little bit better and um, just to change the shape a little bit and then I'm going to take one of the red um, Derwent ink tents blocks and make some real sketchy lines around um, my gessoed flowers and then I'm just going to take some plain water and activate that. The Derwent ink tents are like water soluble color blocks. <laughs> um, and then I'm also going to use um, what's left on my paintbrush of that red and make some red splatters. And then I'm going to take the black Derwent ink tents and I'm going to add some stems and some they're supposed to be like poppies because the, there's poppies in the mood board. So um, 
that little thing at the bottom. I don't know what that's called. The thing that connects like the stem to the flower. So, and then um, the red is kind of a little wet still. So the black is kind of in some spots bleeding into the red, which is completely fine by me. I actually prefer that look so that it blends a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take some water and make sure I activate all those areas of the black. And then once that's dry, I'm gonna take the red again and just draw some really, really sketchy lines all around my blooms, make them really exaggerated. And this is not gonna get activated with water. It's just gonna be straight scribbles. And then I thought it was going to be done, but I really wasn't feeling like it was done, you know what I mean? So off camera, I added some stitching with some DMC floss. And the two outside pieces just have three little X's. And then the one in the middle has like those tick time marks. And um, I just knotted it in the back and then added a piece of masking tape to hold it into place. But then I felt like the middle one needed a little bit something more. And plus, I wasn't that crazy about those um, marks that I that I stitched there. So I was kind of trying to cover it up a little bit. So I have a piece of muslin that I ran through my sewing machine, like pleated it together. And then I have a piece of vintage book text that I um, used resin on. So I like... Um, took the resin and like brushed it on and then when it dried it kind of makes the paper transparent. It's really cool and I also have um, a button that I'm gonna sew on there using the same color thread that I used for my X's and I um, Tried to attach the button and it got stuck in the thread from the sewing machine and then I realized that I completely did it the wrong way. It was supposed to go in from the back, not the front. <laughs> so all that, and I had to take it out anyway. And yeah, so once I got it together <laughs> and started stitching it the right way, um, the cardboard was really hard to get through with my needle. So I just used my catalyst tool to kind of like help push that needle through all those layers of cardboard so I wasn't like killing my my um, thumb now if you had a thimble that would probably work too but um, the catalyst tool is just what I had there and it's rubber so it worked and then I'm just gonna tie that into a knot on the back trim my little threads there and then I'm gonna add this um, Tim Holtz clipping sticker it's just numbers it doesn't mean anything it's just numbers and I'm gonna stick that down there and then that's gonna be it for my little littles I'm calling them <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon bye bye guys